In this lecture, we will cover Agile Software Development and the Agile Manifesto. Here, the learning objective is to recall the basic concept of Agile Software Development based on the Agile Manifesto. This is marked as K1. So you will get a direct question from this topic, and you have to remember the points here. Agile Manifesto has two parts. In the first part, it contains four statements of values, and the second part, it contains 12 principles. In this lecture, we will cover the four statements, and in the next lecture, we will cover 12 principles. Let's first see the history of Agile Manifesto. In 2001, a group of individuals representing the most widely used lightweight software development methodologies agreed on a common set of values and principles which became Manifesto for Agile Software Development, or the Agile Manifesto. In simple terms, Agile Manifesto contains a set of values and principles. Let's see the four sets of values. The first statement is, Individuals and interactions over processes and tools. Second statement is, Working software over comprehensive documentation. The third statement is customer collaboration over contract negotiation. The fourth statement of value is responding to change over following a plan. The Agile Manifesto argues that although the concepts on the right have value, those on the left have greater value. The manifesto is not suggesting to replace the items in right with left. Rather, it stresses upon prioritizing left items over right. The Agile Manifesto was created as an alternative to document-driven heavyweight software development processes, such as the waterfall approach. Now let's understand each of the four statements one by one. The first statement is, Individuals and interactions over processes and tools. To understand this point, let's consider two scenarios. In scenario one, to build software, you are working as a team, and the member of the team communicates and interacts with each other to get the best implementation idea. In the second scenario, you are working independently. You are dependent on the defined process and tool for the implementation. Since in this scenario we are not much interacting with the other team member, we don't know if we are implementing the best software. By comparing the two scenarios, we can say that easily say that scenario 1 is better. With this, we can say that teams of people build software and it is through continuous communication and interaction rather than a reliance on tools or processes that teams can work most effectively. That is the reason in Agile Manifesto we give more importance to individuals and their interactions over processes and tools. The second statement is working software over comprehensive documentation. To understand this, we will again consider two scenarios. In scenario one, suppose after iteration, one you implemented two features out of 15 features and they are working. Along with that, you have a few documents which you send to the customer. Similar way after the second iteration, you implemented four features, so in total, you implemented six features out of 15. Now all the six features are working, and again you sent it to the customer for feedback with minimum required documents. This is how you are working in scenario one. Now let's move on to scenario two. Here you worked for a month and tried to implement all the features but currently they are not working as implementation is not complete. Here after each stage you have created a lot of documentation to keep the track of your project. Now you can see which scenario is better. In scenario 1 you always have a working software with few documents. Whereas in the second scenario you have lots of documents and still software is not working. Therefore if you think from a customer perspective. Working software is much more useful and valuable 
than overly detailed documentation because working software provides an opportunity to give the development team rapid feedback. In addition, because working software with reduced functionality is available much easier in the development lifecycle, agile development can confer a significant time to market advantage. Agile development is, therefore, especially useful in rapidly changing business environments where the problems and or solutions are unclear or where the business wishes to innovate in new problem domains. That is the reason in Agile Manifesto we give more importance to working software over comprehensive documentation. The third statement is customer collaboration over contract negotiation. We'll see two scenarios to understand this point. In scenario one, you see that the customer is not able to specify the system that they required. Since you are the expert in the field, you provide support to them to specify the system. By doing this, you are a collaboration with them and helping them to develop a better product. In scenario two, whenever a customer asks you for support, you show him the contract saying that it's not mentioned here, so you will not provide. Or every time they come to you, you try to negotiate the contract. By seeing both scenarios, we can say that scenario one is better, because by collaborating with the customer, we understand their requirement better. With this explanation, we can say that customers often find great difficulty in specifying the system that they require. Collaborating directly with the customer improves the likelihood of understanding exactly what the customer requires. While having contracts with customers may be important, Working in regular and close collaboration with them is likely to bring more success to the project. That is the reason in Agile Manifesto, we give more importance to customer collaboration over contract negotiation. The fourth statement of value is responding to change over following a plan. Let's understand this with two scenarios. In the first scenario, we made an implementation plan. Based on the implementation planning, we started working. While working on the feature, we came to know that the customer has changed the feature. Then based on this input, we stopped working on the feature and made a new plan. Whereas in the second scenario, even after knowing that the feature was changed, we continued with the implementation as it was planned. In the next planning, we considered the new changes. Now if we compare both scenarios, we can easily say that in scenario 1, we saved lots of time because we responded to change quickly. With this explanation, we can state that change is inevitable in software projects. The environment in which the business operates, legislation, competitor activity, technology advances, and other factors can have a major influence on the project and its objectives. These factors must be accommodated by the development process. As such, having flexibility in work practices to embrace change is more important than simply adhering rigidly to a plan. That is the reason in Agile Manifesto we give more importance to responding to change over following a plan. So these are the four Agile Manifesto values we covered in this lecture. Individuals and interactions over processes and tools working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. Remember them as it is, as they are very important.